Hello Virgo, welcome to this reading. This is a Sun, Moon, Rising reading. Overall energy reading for the Earth sign of Virgo. I'm Kathy, welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for joining me today. We're going to get right into the reading. As I shuffle, I'm setting my intention to give you answers and insights that you might need. Good advice. Just put yourself here with me. Time and space is not going to be an issue. Just assume this reading and this is advice. It's what you need to hear, okay? So we're going to thank the cards in advance for their advice and their guidance. And then we give a cut. First card is the Five of Pentacles. Is upright. The Eight of Cups. It's also upright. The Knight of Swords is upright. The Six of Wands is upright as well. And then we have the King of Pentacles. Okay. See what's going on with you. <laughs> See what's your how your direction, your energy is flowing. The cards don't always give uh, the future, tell the future. It's, uh, you know, we're people, we're not rocks, and we can change our realities really minute by minute, second by second with our intent and our focus. But the cards can give us an idea of which way the, the wind's blowing, so to speak, which direction your energy is flowing. And that creates your future. So we uh, want to see if you want to stay on the path, you like it, or maybe you need to stop, turn around, get off. <laughs> but here we go. The Five of Pentacles is all about feeling isolated, lonely, needy, just feeling bad about yourself. You wish you could do more, or you wish you had have done more. Just low self-esteem. No support. Uh, the Eight of Cups is about walking away and leaving this shit behind. <laughs> you know? It's like you want more out of your life than this. You don't want this. It could be literal. You could literally be in a financial situation where you feel this way. It could be just a mindset that you have. But your dominant thought is going to create your reality. So you have to watch where your vibrational match is. You know, what's your, what are you matched to? And that depends on your amount of negativity or positivity. We have to be positive, grateful, thankful, blessed at all times, no matter what. That will bring us more reasons and more situations of people into our life that, we, that will help us feel positive. Like attracts like. It's just the law. So the law of attraction, the law of assumption, these things play a lot uh, into our lives. But anyway, as a rule, as a whole, <laughs> I feel like you're having issues and you're willing, able, and ready to for confront these issues. You're ready to defend yourself. What are you going to defend yourself from? Your fears, your thoughts, your emotions, things that's not going right, you feel like. Financially, they may not be. You're feeling not good enough, alone, needy. This can be literal uh, situation or it can be a spiritual situation. But you have had struggles and you feel off balance. And you're ready to move on and leave behind these old life patterns and issues and insecurities. You want to be safe and secure. You want to change directions of your life. And changing direction is good for you. You need to um, find a place more meaningful, more um, something different. You know, you You've just got all these old patterns going on, and you just need to look for something more meaningful. And you are searching. It looks like you're not you're not going to just sit around forever and let this determine your life. You're going to move ahead 
I want to say this card. Good news is on its way. I feel like you may be getting a new job. Could be a romance, but because of the pentacles, I'm thinking it will be a new job. You're in a whole new place, and you're going to be safe and secure. Things are going to look up. Your financial situation is going to look up. You're going to start being able to take better care of yourself physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally. Because you're moving yourself out of this mindset and this negativity. Just do the whole Ho'oponopono. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you for allowing yourself to be in this situation or allowing someone else to put you in this situation. Ultimately, we are accountable for what's going on in our life, like it or not. So, um, you are going to be rewarded, really. And this message is going to reach your ears and it's going to uh, give you enthusiasm, rewarding you. This King of Pentacles is all about security and safety. So I feel like this is who you're going to be. You're going to financially um, be in a better place soon, okay? And so just keep up the protecting yourself, defending yourself. And the way you do that is through the superpower of gratitude, affirmations. Just say good things about yourself all the time, maybe do some scripting, maybe look up some uh, YouTube videos on the Law of Assumption. Bring yourself out of this, and you will. You're going to fight for yourself. So thank you so much, Virgo, for watching my video, and until the next video, bye-bye.